When I was in undergrad and I was a pre-med, I thought that scholarships for medical school did not exist. That's what everyone told me. And now I know that's absolutely not true. There are scholarships out there. You just have to find them. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about scholarships for medical school. So as I'm starting my first year and I am starting to realize that medical school is super expensive, living expenses are super expensive, I'm trying to find different ways to cover my medical school costs so I don't end up with hundreds of and thousands of dollars in debt after four years. And I wanna share with you today a few ways that you can look for scholarships as well. Normally, some medical schools will offer internal scholarships to their students, so if you're an M1, maybe when you apply to medical school, they already look at your GPA, your MCAT, and all of these things, and will consider you for some scholarships, while other schools may not offer any scholarships at all to their students. So here, I'm strictly talking about scholarships that are external. They are not associated necessarily with a specific university, and I'm not going to be talking about any of the Army uh, medical scholarships or any of the public service payback program where you know they pay for your medical school but then you have to pay them back with service and and dedicating time to that program so again this is strictly external scholarships where can we start to look for scholarships so the first thing is you should be looking at specific medical universities and medical schools because they most of the time have scholarships listed that are external another thing is if we try to look for specific scholarships where we say scholarships for medical school or scholarships for medical students it's actually pretty hard to find them uh, they're not searchable for some reason but if we search something more generic like scholarships for undergraduate studies or graduate studies then we end up having more luck because medical school does fall undergraduate studies and then finally looking for scholarships that are group specific and targeted to you specifically maybe you are part of the lgbtq community or you're an immigrant or part of some other minority group Maybe you're a non-traditional student and there are these specific scholarships by organizations or nonprofits that are catered to these communities and that will help you out a lot. So let's look at some specific examples. Let's say you're a pre-med or maybe you're already in a specific medical school. You can start looking ahead of time and searching on school websites. Now, uh, for example, you can find external scholarship opportunities on several medical school websites. You don't just have to stick to your own medical school because you might end up finding different opportunities on different websites, even if you're not their student. So I'll give you an example here. I am not a student of Harvard Medical School, but if we go on their website, let's see what we can find. So here we have it, I just went to Google, put in a Harvard Medical School list of scholarships and automatically hit the first link. And hopefully it will direct me to something useful. So here we have funding for MD students. And if I sift a little bit through, I can go to scholarships slash fellowships. They have institutional, right? So those will be internal and applicable only to Harvard students. But then what they have is external, which is what we're interested in. And Harvard has this, but I'm sure if you look up other medical schools across the US that they will also have external scholarships on their websites. So I go to outside scholarships and you can see that they are financial aid office maintains a list of scholarships. So they've already created this list for you. All you have to do is click on it and sift through it and see which ones apply to you which is really cool and so here we have their external scholarship opportunities you can see they kind of also describe the requirements so open to female applicants um, open to people from Southeast Alaska of course not all of these will apply to you but you may end up finding something that is that is for you so female medical students underrepresented minorities Armenian descent you know that can be very niche and very um, unique to a specific person and the list goes on and on so definitely check out different medical schools and their financial aid office website the second thing again that we can do is instead of searching specific scholarships for medical students or medical schools which are quite often not searchable it's very hard to find something like that you can look for general undergrad or graduate student scholarships because remember medical school falls under that graduate student award so there's plenty of general scholarships for undergrads and grad students and if you literally just google it there will be lists and of course you have to sift through them and find something that is more applicable to you but we can look at a few examples here and you can see that there are some pretty general application rules you don't have to be super specific sometimes they want essays sometimes they just want you to show their your transcript and and tell them a little bit about yourself so it really depends but what I encourage you is if you don't go out there and look for the scholarships then you're never going to get a scholarship and if you do find scholarships and you sit and you think oh it's only a thousand dollars or five hundred dollars and that's a lot of time for me to write an essay well if you reflect on it a lot of other students are probably thinking the same way so a lot of people end up not applying for these scholarships. That means that the applicant pool is pretty small and you have a pretty high chance of getting an award, maybe if it's smaller, because nobody 
not as many people end up applying for those smaller awards, so your chances might be higher. So go for it. But let's look at a few examples. Here we have the McLean DDS Medical Scholarship, and maybe you think DDS, this is a dental scholarship, but it's not. It is a $1,000 award, okay, for undergraduate and graduate students majoring in a medical field of study. So this applies to medical students. Yes, it will apply to dentistry as well, and maybe veterinarians and so on, but it is very broad. Again, undergrads or grads, so it's a generic award, and you can definitely check it out. It doesn't seem like the application is too complex. There may be a little bit of an essay, attach your transcript, and at least you have a shot if you try. Here we have another generic undergrad grad award, the Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Scholarship that I came across. It is $1,500, which is a pretty good amount. And you can see that the eligibility here, yes, you have to write one essay, um, a brief cover letter, so on, but who can apply? All students attending institutions of higher education. So this means anybody, anybody that is past high school and continuing their education. So this applies to us med students. So again, look out for those generic awards because um, it's much harder to find super specific awards for medical students or medical school. And the third thing that we can look for is group specific scholarships. Again, looking for opportunities that may be more niche or more catered towards you. Maybe you're part of a specific um, nationality, ethnicity, minority, LGBTQ, Asian American community, all of these different communities and organizations end up giving scholarships. You just have to find them and because these are more niche and more targeted, then you, I feel like you have a higher chance of getting them because it's not going out to this broad applicant pool of all medical students, but it's going to be specific. It's going to be applicable to medical students that are from a specific background or from an immigrant community and then that narrows down your applicant pool and I feel like that increases your chances of getting this scholarship. So here are a few examples. So if we take a look here, the Hispanic Scholarship Fund, you can see that they have a scholarship to assist students of Hispanic her heritage to obtain a university degree. So uh, scholarships are available to literally anybody who is a high school senior or above. So again, this is catering to a specific group. So if you are of Hispanic heritage, this is a great opportunity for you and the awards can be 500 to $5,000. So again, make sure you're looking out and you're thinking what might be a group that I'm a part of? Am I LGBTQ? Am I of a specific nationality? Underrepresented minority? Do I have a specific interest in medicine? There are a lot of scholarships that target specifically people that want to go into psychiatry or family medicine or rural medicine. So that's another thing maybe down the line once you're in your third or fourth year you can cater to that specialization. Here's another example, the Paul and Daisy Soros Fellowship for New Americans. So this is a scholarship that awards 25,000 in stipend support a year. So that's a pretty decent amount. When it comes to eligibility, this is catering to a specific group. You must be a new American. That means you must either be an immigrant or a, the child of immigrants. So those are only two examples of specific group scholarships, but there are so many more out there. Again, because I'm now officially a first year medical student, I started compiling my own kind of database of scholarships that I can reference back to throughout the years and maybe some that will be specific only for third year of medical school or fourth year of medical school. So I started compiling this medical school scholarship database and I will put it on my blog. I'll put it in the link down below if you guys want to access it and check out some of the scholarships and see if they apply to you. And if you happen to know any cool opportunities, send them out. I will add them to this database and keep it growing over time so we can help each other out. Thanks for tuning in guys. If you have any questions, please drop them down below. Don't forget to like this video if you found the scholarships helpful. Subscribe and I will see you guys next time.